Greetings in the name of Jesus. Amen. I am Dr. Austin. Amen. So this is spoken word segment. Uh, we won't be very long. Um, please uh, be able to turn to the word of God. Amen. We go into Ezekiel. Amen. Ezekiel 33 on today. Amen. We bring special greetings. Amen. From DRO Florida Ministries. Amen. I am overseer, also known as the fire chamber, fire chamber. Amen. We're going to turn to book Ezekiel 33, and we're going to talk about the watchmen on the wall. Amen. And we want to make sure when we go into 2017, amen, we're looking for a great expectation and a great move of God to take place on this year, this season. Amen. And I'm going to read it very shortly. Amen. Father God, in the name of Jesus, as we get ready to release this word as I decrease amen and the holy spirit begin to increase father we thank you for this time in this segment for a short period of time amen the word of the lord came to me son of man speak to your people and tell them suppose i bring a sword against the land and the people that the land selected from the man among them appointed him as their watchman and they see the sword coming against the land and he blows the trumpet and warn the people then if, if anyone hears the sound of the trumpet and ignore the warning, the sword, amen, takes him away and his blood will be on his own head. Since he heard the sound of the trumpet, but did not ignore the warning, his blood is on his own hands. And if you have taken warning, his life would have been saved. Amen. Thank you for the reading of the word of the Lord. Be blessed. Amen. I wanted to just talk a little brief segment about the watchman. Amen. And, and when I refer to the watchman, we refer to watchman as in leadership. Amen. In 2017, amen, we need as leaders, we need to uh, kind of turn this up a notch in 2017 uh, 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 because, amen, there's so much that's creeping in the house of God. There's so much corruption creeping in the house of God. And we got to prepare ourselves amen and because we are in these last days amen he's looking to find out where are the true watchmen amen a watchman amen not just have their physical eye open to watch amen if someone creeps on the scene to watch if someone creeps on the territory on god's territory as well as the natural but we're looking for a watchman amen that begin to tap into the supernatural and when they tap into the supernatural, amen, they'd be able to identify, amen, the enemy at its best, amen, begin to identify the enemy at its camouflage state. We know that, amen, that the Bible declares in Ephesians, amen, it says six, amen, says that we wrestle not against flesh, we wrestle against, uh, uh, not against flesh, but the principalities and the rulers of the darkness of this age. Amen. For the Bible declares that we should put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the enemy. Amen. And as a watchman in this in this particular segment, amen, uh, you have this particular watchman. Amen. And he said, son of man, if the law the trumpet goes and the trumpet sounds, you need to alert those people. You need to alert them. And if you alert them, amen, and the enemy attack, amen, guess what? Because you alerted them and they responded, amen, the blood would not be on your hands. If they don't respond, amen, it is not your responsibility. But if you happen to be one of those watchmen, amen, just uh, only concerned about filling a building and not be concerned about the souls, amen, in the kingdom, what happened is when the enemy um, steps on the scene and you don't alert them because you're more concerned about filling a building, whether being concerned with their souls. What happened is when the enemy creeps in, it begins to seep out, amen, the church, seep out these individuals and these individuals go to stray. You as a watchman will be held accountable. And we got the real us as watchmen, amen. We're not just uh, accountable for ourselves. We we have no accountability when it comes to ourselves, but we have accountability to God. We have accountability as a leader. And as a leader, amen, if we're uh, allowing the sheep to go, 
amen, astray, and we're not paying attention to them, amen, they're missing, amen, a couple of Sundays, and you have not picked up the phone and give them a call, then where is your leadership skills? Where is your compassion as a watchman? Amen. We know that the, the Bible declares, amen, that the devil's job is to seep us out. His job is to kill, to destroy. But we are turning right now in 2017. We are serving the devil as spiritual amen, eviction notice. That means every person that is not lined up amen, is with the word of God. We're serving you today as spiritual eviction notice. Amen. And it's a job of the watchman, amen, to serve that spiritual eviction notice. And if the watchman, amen, do not alert the people, if the watchman, amen, do not serve that spiritual eviction notice, amen, the city, amen, the place where you reside in the kingdom becomes corrupted. The leaders that are surrounded around you, amen, begins to tear down the kingdom. Amen. You got to be an effective watchman. Now, how many out there on, on today on Radio Land, amen, said that I will learn and I will I will make up in my mind uh, without the shadow of a doubt in 2017 that I will be an effective watchman. Now, amen. The Bible says watch as well as pray. <clears throat> so you cannot be an effective watchman if you don't have a relationship. Uh, you cannot be an effective watchman uh, when you don't have a prayer life. Uh, you cannot be an effective watchman. Uh, oh, shut up, oh, shit. Uh, oh, my God, when you are not lined up with the word of God, uh, you cannot be an effective watchman uh, when you don't even have an intimate relationship. So we want to make sure as leaders, and I'm not beating on the leaders, but we got to line up with the word of God. Because how do you expect to bring people, amen, the lost, amen, the unsaved, the untapped, the, un the unbelievers into the house, amen, lead them to the cross to be saved, lead them to their salvation, amen. Now it's up to them whether they accept the salvation or not. But sometimes I understand that people so stubborn, you can lead them to the to the water, amen. But sometimes they don't want to drink. It's because they got the mind. But we know, amen, in this in this era, amen, you have a right to choose. But I say I'm telling you today, amen, to choose who are you going to serve? Uh, are you going to be truly a, an effective watchman uh, and be accountable for those sheep? Are you going to be an effective watchman to be accountable for your family? Are you going to be an effective watchman to be a show forth accountability amen, to the people that are connected with you? So in 2017, I just wanted to send that encouragement out tonight. Amen. Anyone that is a defective, amen, you cut them off in 2017. Amen. The rope has to be broken. Amen. Uh, anything, amen, that is related to uh, anything that holds you bound. Amen. On today, I, amen, as a sound mind and body, amen, send that forth that eviction notice on them today and a spiritual eviction because we got to be cleaned up. Amen. Because guess what? The Bible says he's coming back for a church. He's talking about the soul. He's talking about us as a whole. We ain't talking about no building. But he's talking about each and individual churches. We need, we need to combine together and work together. Amen. For one thing, and that's for kingdom's sake. And that is, amen, for the souls. Amen. And we're not just like a, a Bishop Abrams, a friend of mine said, if you're not in the soul saving business, then you in the wrong job. You are in the wrong job. So we got to show forth accountability today and, and, and this new season. Anything that hinders you from doing what you're supposed to do. In 2017, we got to cut them off. You serve them as, as, as spiritual eviction notice. They got to cease. But the only way that you can serve it, you got the Holy Ghost got to be residing in you. The Bible says after the Holy Ghost, you shall have power. And we serve the devil in eviction notice over your life. We serve the devil eviction notice. And in, in your finances, we serve the devil in eviction notice over your marriage, over your relationship, over your job, everything that is connected, every business opportunity. We're serving the devil in eviction notice because he has no reason. Amen. It's time for us, amen, to take back in 2017 dominion, dominion over everything that God has assigned to us to do. So I just wanted to send that 
encouraging word out on today. Amen. As I get ready to close out, amen, that word nugget of empowerment on today, we're going to play a little song. We just ask God to strengthen us. Amen. On today, my God, my God, my God, amen, that God begin to set the atmosphere. Amen. Talks about the invitation. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 